stereo isomer. Uh, a stereo isomer, let me just give you the terms first, and then we'll look at some examples. This will take a little while to get used to. This has to do with geometry uh, and space. So if you're good at visualizing, this is going to be fantastic for you. And the other 99% of you, this is going to be horrible. So we'll do the best we can, but if you can visualize, you're going to be much advantaged right now. There's two types, the geometric. And you're going to see this a lot in OCHEM as well, because uh, there's many, many uh, biological mo molecules that are stereoisomers. Uh, it's very common for enzymes, all kind of biological molecules to be sh uh, shaped a certain way in space. Geometric isomers and optical isomers. Geometric and optical. We're going to see the difference between those two as I do some examples. Okay, let's take a look at this. So I'm going to have a bunch of overheads here. If you want to just look or you can write them down, whatever is helpful. Uh, so isomers, here's just another definition. Uh, it contains whenever something has the same number of atoms, so we're not adding atoms or losing atoms, but they're just in different arrangements uh, around the atom. So now what we're going to look at is what's called some of these geometric isomers. So these first examples are the geometric isomers, which are a subset of stereoisomers. Okay, so geometric isomers, subset of stereoisomers. Uh, so here's an example. We have, let's try to name this. We've got two diamine dichloro. Uh, the amine has to go first. So diamine dichloro platinum two. What's its last name? It has no last name. It's like Madonna. Whenever there's no overall charge on the complex then there's no last name. So this is a one-named entity. Well, notice how this can be named. This happens to be a square planar complex. You could have the two chloros both on one side of the square, and the two amines over here with the platinum in the center. Or you could have the chloros on opposite sides. So with the platinum here and the two amines here. The one uh, on the on your left hand side is called cis cis. The one on your right hand side is called trans. So trans things like Trans America or something, Trans World, it, it going across. Another definition for trans could be along the same axis. See how it's along the same axis, where cis is not on the same axis. So if you see two ligands that are not on the same axis, we're going to call that cis. When you see them on, on the same axis going across, we'll call that trans. Okay, let's look, take a look at another one. So again, geometric isomers. Here we have it kind of written out in a different way for the same complex. We have cis and trans. Uh, and this is also another way to draw a square planar. You can draw a little, instead of the bonds between <coughs> platinum straight to chlorine or platinum straight to ammonia, you can draw a little box with each ligand uh, on the corner of the box. So just another way to draw it. You have the cis when they're on different axes, and you have the trans on the same axis or across from each other. Uh, geometric isomers, stereoisomers in general, can have different properties. And so, uh, and you can see here, this one uh, is an anti-tumor agent where the trans one, whatever, <coughs> or you might have heard of like trans fats versus the cis bonds. So you have cis and trans type of bonds. Trans going across it, you're going to have totally different properties. 
Okay, this is with four ligands. Let's take a look at geometric isomers with six ligands, or the octahedral. Okay, so there's the six ligands. Okay, so let's see, this is complex. There's three amines and three chl chloros, so it's triamine, uh, trichloral, uh, cobaltate 2. <coughs> Triamine trichloro cobaltate 2. Okay, so let's take a look at these. Notice the difference here. Again, we're using, when we're drawing the 6 here, in this case, the drawing a box for the middle. This would just be bonds from the cobalt to the chlorines and the amines. But just another way of drawing it. Uh, they both have minus one charge. Notice the difference for the chlorines. Here, the chlorines, we've got two on the same axis. See that? There's three of them total, but two on the same axis. It's kind of like trans. But whenever there's three ligands, we don't call it trans. We call it mer. <laughs> I'll tell you where that comes from in a little bit. Here, we've got <laughs> the three chloros all on different axes. It's kind of like the cis. They're all on different axes. None of them are across from each other. We call that FAC, F-A-C, FAC. Uh, notice also when the CLs are FAC, then H3s are FAC, meaning on different axes. When the CLs are MER, so are the NH3s. These two NH3s are on the same axis. This one's on a different axis. What's MER? Where the heck does that come from? Let me show you an example in 3D here. Take a look at this thing. I don't know how easy it is to see. Let me dim the lights to set our mood. Okay. Uh, okay. Here, I have a little uh, 3D model that you can see. And you can see that three of them are black. Three are black ligands. One, two, three. The other three ligands are red, blue, and white. So the three black ones, can you see, are mer to each other? Mer. Uh, mer is like the word meridian. Like the prime meridian, it goes around, like the globe. And see how these go around? They're going around it. So when you think of mer, you can think of going around, like meridian. These two are trans to each other, so we use the term mer. They're across from each other, so we use the term mer for three ligands. Trans for two. Okay, let me change this around. I'm going to break these bonds and put them in slightly different places. Now see that the three that are the same are all uh, together uh, on one side. They're all on different axes, it's, uh, so it's called the fact. Whereas fact, come, it's kind of like the word face. See if this was a die, if you're kind of a goofball in high school and you play that Dungeons and Dragons, you have a multi-sided die. See how these are on the same face? On the same face. Okay? So thus FAC. Okay? All on different axes, analogous to cis. But FAC has to do with three ligands, cis has to do with two ligands. Okay, let's turn the lights back on. Any questions so far? <coughs> All right. So those are geometric isomers. What do you have to know? Cis and trans for two ligands, fac and mer for three ligands.